What's up you guys? My name is Jess and if you're new here, this is my sixth year teaching and this year I am teaching sixth grade ELA and science. Okay, I'm finally going to give you guys a classroom tour today. Um, I meant to do that the first week of school, but now it's the second week. And obviously if you're a teacher, you know, the first week of school can get a little hectic. So there was an attempt made last week and I just didn't have it in me. So I'm finally gonna give you guys the classroom tour of my sixth grade ELA and science classroom. Um, definitely two subjects that you don't normally see together, but so far I'm loving it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment so that you can keep up with me and this new adventure in sixth grade. Before we get into the video, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this video today, Pear Eyewear. Pear Eyewear is a eyewear brand that offers blue light and prescription glasses, but you can switch out the frames on your glasses so that you can match every outfit and every occasion. Pear Eyewear got me ready for back to school with their We Spark Minds campaign, and I got to pick out three different frames that can attach right onto my base frames to match all of my different outfits. They're super easy to take on and off. You can switch them out. They click right on because they are magnetic. And of course, as teachers, you know we love our colorful and rainbow items. So this definitely matches my aesthetic. The shopping process is super easy. You just go to pareyewear.com and pick your base frame. And then once you pick your base frame, you can go through and choose the base frame color and then build and purchase. You can choose what kind of lens you want, depending on whether you need prescription glasses or readers or non-prescription. And then you can choose your top frames. My my frames are from the We Spark Minds collection to get me in the mood for back to school and match my classroom aesthetic and all of my teacher outfits. All of the frames start off at $60 and it's way more affordable to choose one base frame and then be able to choose many different top frames that you can switch out to match your outfit or your vibe for that day. And you know, as a teacher, taking care of children is my passion and Pear Eyewear does a pair for a pair and for each pair that is purchased, a pair is donated to a child in need. So if you guys want to level up your eyewear game, make sure you check out the link in the description box below for 15% off your first order. Again, thank you Pear Eyewear for sponsoring this video today and let's get into the tour. Okay, so I'm gonna do the best I can at showing you everything. It is a little bit of a mess because now this classroom is lived in, I guess you could say. Um, and also I don't wanna show you anything that's too like personal or gives away any names of any students. So I'll do my best to show you everything that I can. All right, so this is like the overall view from when you walk in one of my doors since I have two doors. This is what we're working with. My desk area is to the left of the door and to the right of the door I have our class point system, our two different schedules that we go by, calendar. Over here we have our Chromebook cart and our kiosk that we're using for hall passes this year. So they type in their name and they can create a pass and that way we can keep track of who's where. On this shelf I have some of my ELA units and things separated over here i have cardstock laminating sheets and sheet protectors in these drawers down here it's just kind of random stuff honestly I don't even know i think there's light bulbs and magic erasers some masking tape this is my plant food for my plants that i am probably not going to be a great plant mom for but i'm going to try cleaning supplies tickets that i still don't have a purpose for um, and then you come over here and this was part of our science assignment today, or our science class today. The kids were to make an observation of the item in the bag and it needed to be qualitative and quantitative and then they had to make an inference about how it related to me. So kind of just get to know the teacher stuff. One of my plants, I have these little, what are they called? 
table placemats, I guess, from Dollar Tree and then like an old little clock thing. This was the poster that I didn't have here last time you guys were in here. Um, I made this on Canva and then I got it printed at Shutterfly and I love it. It's perfect. Over here I just have more stuff. This is just like plastic wear. This mug doesn't normally face this way but it says my school's name on it so I'm hiding it. Um, some Velcro dots in here, stickers, some cute little decor items. These are kind of how we split up our science units. So I'm going to put different things that we work on in those units in these bins so I can have like hard copies. Um, these are things that we've done so far. So it stays in here. And then next year I can just take that bin out when I need to. I'm gonna try to show you this area without <laughs> what's on it. Um, we did a what does a scientist look like activity and they drew what a scientist looks like and then I took pictures of them and printed them off and we're gluing them to these cute little sheets of paper and I'm gonna hang those up in the hallway. Over here I have my lab rules that I designed on Canva to match my classroom theme a little bit better. They have like the animal print and the light greens and tans and light pinks. Up here I have Science ABCs from Acceleron TPT and I honestly don't remember what their name is but I linked them in a previous classroom setup video so I'll see if I can find that again. Back here are our book club books. So these are books that we use when we do lit circles in class. Um, the students will be able to choose from a list of books and choose their top three and then I kind of group them together based off of the books that they chose and like their different levels that I know um, because it's later on in the year. This was in my roommate's room and she didn't want it anymore so I took it here because it matches my classroom and I love him. On the back wall, I have these Facebook market chairs. I have two of them and then those pillows. I think they're all from like Target. Some lamps, um, just some wooden letters, another plant. I have some pictures of my family and I and friends, my grad cap. It's like actually really hard for me to believe that this is my sixth year of teaching and that that grad cap is from, well, I guess six and a half years ago, seven years ago from a long time ago. I feel old now. On this shelf back here, I have group bins um, from when I do group work and I'm planning on labeling each of these mesh pouches, like one for ELA, one for science, so we can kind of keep the supply differentiated between the two classes. So those are group supply bins. I think I have eight, two, four, six, eight. Yes, I have eight group supply bins. I have a wallflower plug-in back here. Everyone always compliments the smell of my room, so that's a must to keep it up, keep that reputation up. I have some cute little posters. These are from Sweet Tooth Teaching. Most of my classroom decor is from Sweet Tooth Teaching, her wild jungle, I forget what it's called, but I think it's like called wild something classroom theme. Back here, I just have a couple little cute little knickknacks on this shelf. Those drawers, I kind of just shoved things in to keep out of the way. This plant is from the family that I nannied for. I just put this little cup to water back here. I have not used this oil diffuser in years. It's just decor at this point. This is, this is another one of my posters that I made on Canva and I got printed at Shutterfly. It's a speak like a scientist to kind of encourage them to have those more advanced conversations in science class. I have this cute little paper lantern from one of my friends. This couch already looks like a disaster. It looks like someone just piled up on this side today while they were reading. <laughs> Coffee table, cute little rug thingy. I have my ELA reference posters back here, some grammar time posters, and then six traits of writing some more decorative posters over here. On this shelf back here, I just have some extra supplies. We use a lot of note cards in science. Um, I have Sharpies, sticky notes, some extra notebooks, pencils, and some tape refills. I do have a couple of games. I really want more. I put some on my Amazon wish list, so. Subtle plug, if you wanna go check out my Amazon wish list, I would love some new games for my classroom. <laughs> I have a couple more cute little decor items, some lamps, my other Facebook marketplace chair, book nook sign. 
over here are all my like personal classroom library books. I have some Legos brain flakes down there. This is the checkout system up here, this QR code. They just scan it with their Chromebook and then they can fill out the Google form with the title of the book. This is how my classroom library is organized. Um, if it's nonfiction, it'll have blue tape on the spine, fiction, this green, so on and so forth. Have my little full body mirror back here just in case I need to check out my outfit in the morning. Over here, I have this sheer curtain and then behind it, I just put a bunch of placemats. Um, to cover the window between the classroom next door and mine. Up here I have the notice and note signposts for when they're reading. They can stop and ask themselves certain questions to better understand the text and we do a lot with these throughout the year. This big fluffy pillow thing that's just supposed to be comfy to sit on. Another lamp, place for them to put some of their work that we're proud of on this wall. This is kind of like the student center. They have a bunch of communal supplies, pencils, pencil sharpener. Um, over here is where I put their name if they're missing something and then the name of what they're missing. And then if their name is up here, they'll go to their drawer down here. Um, if they're in period one, they would go to period one missing work and open that up and there should be a paper or a handout with their name on it and they can just take that and make it up if they were absent. Over here I have the grade scale, their turn-in bins, this is where they turn in their work, another little lamp, some cute little decor. This is also for the students over here, there's a stapler, tape, scissors, and a hole puncher. I also really need to get more student scissors because I have this one pair and that's it. I have line paper down here and plain printer paper. This is my little doorbell over here. Still feeling out if it really works that well with middle schoolers. Um, over here is my no name wall. So if they hand something in and it doesn't have their name on it, I'll pin it to here and they can claim it if it's theirs and make sure they get a grade for it. This is our daily agenda and objective board. So for each class, for science, I put what we're doing in class, what's for homework, and what our weekly objectives are. And I do the same thing for ELA down at the bottom. This little desk is really just for me. Still haven't changed that. And also, I'm trying to show you these, these rules. I'm showing you like this because next to it has stuff with my school's name on it. But these are other classroom rules from Sweet Tooth Teaching and her classroom decor bundle. I have them hung up. Um, down here I have hand sanitizer, this sign, someone just put it in the hallway, they wanted to get rid of it and I always say that, so I took it and put it in my room. I have my bathroom hand signals over here. First chapter Friday, still need to write down what we read on this past Friday, because I said I was going to be more intentional about that this year, which I really, really want to be, so I need to write that down and keep track of that. This is what the front of the class whiteboard looks like. Has some cute little posters, again from Sweet Tooth Teaching. This I think is from Home Goods? No, this is from Hobby Lobby. These are from Amazon. Um, this is our advisory schedule, so what we're doing in advisory each day. This is my little flip calendar. This is the word of the day that I have yet to change. So really it's like word of the month at this point. And then at the front of the room, I have my Jolly Ranchers, my Lucky Ducks, things that I'm just like handing out during class. I kind of just keep right there. Um, a little cute sign. Down here I just have some supplies, clipboards, some early finishers, binders, dry erase boards, things like that. I have my mini fridge over here. Last year my kids like knew me for always having like peanut butter all the time. So I always have a giant jar of peanut butter on me. I don't wanna to get too close to this board because it has a lot of stuff that says my school's information on it. Um, but on this backboard, I kind of just use it as my like own personal fridge. Um, things that I need to remember or reminders for myself or schedules, I just hang them up on this backboard back here. This is my desk setup. I have my standing desk, the little counter up here. I have my pink desk mat 
keyboard and I have a pink mouse. Just some kind of random little decor items. And then off to the side of my desk, I have like a regular size desk. I have this little, I think they're called Lazy Susans. This little thing that spins. I have my pens, little plant, a picture of my boyfriend and I. Um, I have this cute little clock from Amazon, wax warmer, and a lamp. And then in here is where I've been keeping all the little wax cubes to go in the wax warmer. And then we are back at the front door of my classroom. So I hope I didn't go too fast and I hope I didn't disappoint, but that is my 2023-2024 classroom tour. Again, I am teaching sixth grade ELA in science this year. If you'd like to keep up with me this year, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and stick around for more adventures in sixth grade ELA in science. Bye guys.